Well, new this morning, Donald Trump's legal team bracing for a possible new federal indictment over the former president's alleged efforts to overturn the 2020 presidential election. Special counsel Jack Smith leading a wide-ranging investigation into the January 6th attack on the Capitol, meeting with Trump's team last week, a clear indicator that criminal charges could come any day soon. Trump bashing his latest legal issues, including two new charges of obstruction of justice in the classified documents probe, Smith accusing Trump of trying to delete security camera footage of Mar-a-Lago last year, just days after a draft subpoena for the footage of the Florida residents had been sent to his attorney. President Trump didn't want something turned over. I assure you, that is something that could have been done, but he never would act like that. That is quintessential consciousness of guilt, which shows that he knew what he was doing was wrong. It just gets worse for him. Now, the onslaught of legal troubles and bills in the midst of the Trump's 2024 campaign, ABC News has learned the super PAC that supports the former president has spent more than $40 million plus dollars on legal bills in the first half of this year and just launched a new legal defense fund specifically to cover costs incurred by allies entangled in his investigations. Now, in that superseding indictment against Trump, Smith accuses a former president of directing two staff members to destroy security camera evidence. One of those men, Carlos de Oliveira, who's the head of maintenance at Mar-a-Lago, is due in court today.